hello guys welcome to this video in this video i am going to tell you how to make a multi-level list there are many times where you require a multi-level list for your papers textbooks or a thesis right and there are times where this links uh, multi-level lists are not linked right so in this video i'm going to tell you the procedure of setting a new multi-level list which looks like this in this multi-level list i have tried to include all the variations there are more to it but these are generally the variation that most of the people use so this is a multi-level list that i have created the first level is a name of a country second level is a name of a province or a state and third level is a city so this is what i'm going to tell you how to do this kind of list how to make this kind of list and how to do all kind of variations right so let us start doing all these things this is a word document in which i want to do multi-level list like this okay so let's start it from the beginning this is a document where i want to have a multi-level list and that is customized multi-level list so what i'll do is i'll select all these things okay and i'll go to this paragraph and then multi-level list and i'll click on the drop down menu and here you can see some of the presets that have already been loaded in microsoft word anytime you can go and use all these things but the purpose of this video is to define a multi-level list based on your choice okay so we'll do all these things right from the beginning so you just have to click define new multi-level list after clicking this you will get this kind of dialog box now this now this is a dialog box from where you can customize all the things right and microsoft word gives you way to le level a list up to nine levels most of the most of the document will have up to three or four or if you are in some other professions like legal you may go up to five or six right so here it is nine and i think nine is more than sufficient for any multi-level list so in this document i'm going to tell you how, how to do a customized multi-level list for three levels but the procedure remains the same so if you want to go ahead and do for multi-level list of five or six you can go ahead and do this uh, repeat the same procedure in this doc document i'm just going to select first level list and i'm going to delete whatever is the default thing that is coming here right so in first level what i want i want to have a number which is like uh, roman numerals okay this is the first level and i want to have a dot after it right and in second level actually what i want to do is i'll de again delete all these things now second level we want to make it dependent on first level as it, like suppose i am in list i am in level 4 right and i want first level as 4.1 not as 1.1 or 0.1 or 1 point something right it should depend on a previous higher level if i am in level 2 so next level i want as 2.1 right so it should depend on the on the higher level so you can do this thing from here include level number from since we have already defined level one so, so that's why level one is appearing right so level one if the moment you click level one so level one kind of formatting will appear and i want to separate level one and level two by dot right you can do it by colon hyphen and there are many other things but in this case we'll stick to dot right and this is level one one dot and in level two i want uh, this kind of numbering right one two three no level two is done level three just for a variation purpose what i'll do i'll just delete I'll delete all these things again level three should be like it's 1.2.1 it, or 5.2.1 like this it should depend on level one as well as on level two so what we'll do we'll just click level one dot level two then dot and third level i want as small abcs right this is just for a demonstration purpose you are free to choose any one of the any of this and there are lots of variation available right so i'm just going to choose this thing okay and we'll look at all these things later okay i'm just going to press this as okay and now See, all these things are level one currently now we don't want all these things as level one the first level is like a country second level is a state or a province and third level is cities in that province right so this is first level so us is a country the first level california is a state of a usa or a province of a usa so i want it at as level two so that ways to do to change the level i can just press go ahead and press tab okay sorry I can just go ahead and press tab it will make it, it will just increase the level right if it is level one it will just 
go to level 2 if it is level 2 and you are pressing tab it will go to level 3 like that so this is a city in that province so it should be level 3 so i'll press tab twice to make it level 3 this is again a state this is again a city this is country i'll keep it level 1 this is a state this is a city so i can just change it again country province and then city there are ways like if you don't like this pressing tab so you can just go and ch change level here you can say it is level 1 level 2 level 3 so victoria is a state i'll just keep it at level 2 and melbourne is a city so in this case i'm going to have it at level 3 okay so this is how we make it but it is not actually appearing like this there are a lot of variations and there are a lot of options available so let us look at these options one by one so again i am going to select ctrl a all this list then again go and click on define new multi level okay i am just going to select a and define new multi level list it will make sure that the the current list is what you are going to see and modify it now, in level 1 this is a number alignment it is left line so this is a space from the left side that you want to have and this is an indentation of a text okay so if you want to in increase the indentation you can see how it is changing i'll just for a demonstration purpose i'll just keep it make it one okay in level one level two is indented by 0.64 this is a quarter of an inch okay i'll just change it to one and increase it to 1.5 just to see this effect and for level 3 i'll just make it 1.5 sorry and i'll just increase it up for up to 2 and just see this all these things has changed this indentation has changed now this is just a simple example of indentation now i'll again go and change other things you are free to go and try all these things you can change fonts and all these things but the most important thing that you will have is suppose i want to include a, a text here before level one or after level one in a thesis or in a report generally we have level one as chapter right so what i can do i can just type a text chapter and then press space and then it is level one I just go and press ok so it is like chapter one chapter two chapter three right there are a few more things that is microsoft word abuse you like linking this heading uh, this levels to this heading in styles right so how to do how to link this thing is you have to select control all the things go and go in multi-level list and define new multi-level list now if if this is not open you just have to click more and this window will appear right now what i want to do is i want to link this heading one level one to my heading one i want to link this level two to my heading two and link heading three with level three okay so after linking this it will be it will look like something like this now in heading you can just change the format suppose i want to make this thing as it should appear as black and i can change the font size maybe a left alignment right alignment and do all this kind of stuff this is the font and you can do all this formatting for this heading and it will be applied to this okay so this is black i want why i wanted this thing as bold so you can do a whole lot of thing that is applicable in heading i wanted it bold and i wanted its, its size to be 18 right so this is what it how i can do so let us say i want to i want to include something okay i want to include something a new province in country india let us say it is gujarat and then make it as level 2 so what i can do is i can just go and click heading 2 heading 2 is linked to level 2 so it, the, all the formatting and numbering will will be as it, uh, as applicable to other heading 2 formattings like this and i can add new things like this is a, a city in state Gujarat I can make this as level 3 okay and see all the formatting applies as it is so this is what you can do okay it is not looking good but that's not the purpose of this video this video I was supposed to tell you how to do 
how to make a customized multi-level list and this is what I have made and you can customize each level since it is already linked to a heading so I you can have a lot of things like formatting options like font font size and paragraph tabs maybe you can put some borders at the bottom of level one okay you want to have borders like this okay and it looks nice sometimes so you can have all these kind of things okay so this is how you can start your plain document and suppose if you want to write normal text so you can what you can do is you can just go and type random text okay so it appears like this and this is a random text it doesn't change your numberings okay the numbering numbering will be as it is and the normal text will appear as a normal text here also you can go and modify this thing modify font size and everything all these options given by microsoft word so this is how you can make a multi-level list of your choice a customized multi-level list so thanks for watching this video if you have any doubt please comment comment below i'll try to give answers as soon as possible and if you have if you want to learn something more just comment it and i will try to make a new video on that so thanks thank you very much for watching this video bye bye take care